Hello, good morning and welcome to the week. Welcome to Social Today when we are talking about uh, Twitter polls today. Thanks for watching the replay. We are now live on Social Today. So Social Today, welcome Judy. Good morning. Hope you had uh, a fantastic uh, weekend. So talking about uh, Twitter polls uh, today. And um, yeah, it's a great new feature on uh, on Twitter. Uh, going to be going into some specifics in a minute. Going to be rolled out probably this week, but I do believe a few people have already got Twitter polls, have got the polling feature on uh, on Twitter. So uh, would be um, would be great to uh, hear from uh, from you if you have got polls already. Uh, possibly some of the users in the uh, Twitter users in the states might have uh, have Twitter polls. So um, are you excited about Twitter polls? Will you be uh, using them? A great way to uh, get engagement, uh, I think. Uh, nice uh, option. Uh, good morning, Yoon's uh, nineteen. Uh, nice option compared with asking a question because you can find out so much, uh, so much more. Uh, basically, you will be able to see how many people have voted, the percentage of people who have gone for either option on the uh, on the Twitter poll. Uh, good morning, James. Good morning. Hope you had a good uh, good weekend. So uh, that's kind of the first point with the uh, Twitter polls. They are limited to just two options. But I quite like that because, you know, some people might disagree. And uh, hi from Australia, Jin, Jan, Ginger777. Hello from Belgium. Welcome, everybody. A good international audience today talking about uh, Twitter polls here on the Social Today Show. Always at the same time, 8.45 British Some Actually, no, it's not British summer time now, is it? No, very good point. Uh, clocks went back. So anyway, 8.45. I always get my times mixed up. But 8.45, definitely uh, UK time. Can we say that? Uh, I think so. Coming very soon, uh, Twitter polls, James. Coming very soon. Uh, but let's um, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at Twitter polls. Uh, oh dear, my screen has gone uh, gone balmy here. Um, let's see what we can uh, what we can do here. Uh, okay, right. Okay, so let's have a look. So here we go. Uh, so um, if you can see this screenshot, this is what the Twitter poll button is going to look like on the uh, website. Uh, so you can see the button there at the bottom, sorry, on the desktop version of, uh, of Twitter. And uh, you can just about see the, yeah, room with Periscope polls. That could be, that could be very interesting too. Uh, you can see the icon um, there. Uh, that is the icon that you're going to see on uh, on mobile. So uh, hopefully we'll have this sometime uh, this week. Be interesting to know from any viewers who have already got uh, got Twitter polls. So let's uh, let's see if you uh, if you have. Uh, let's just uh, look at some other things. No better way than um, showing you examples when I'm trying to explain stuff. So this is what the polls are going to look like on uh, on mobile. Uh, so you can see there. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, pinning Twitter polls would be a great idea to highlight them at the top of your uh, feed. Um, let me know what ideas you've uh, got around um, using Twitter polls. All sorts of uh, ideas. I'll, I'll give you a few in a, in a second, but let me know your, your ideas. So this is what it looks like when it's in progress on mobile. So you've got the percentage there. Uh, you've got the two options. And also uh, at the bottom, you can't quite read that, but it says how much time is left on the poll because that's another point that the polls are live for basically uh, 24 hours. Uh, so the polls exist for 24 hours. And uh, over here on this screenshot from uh, mobile, you can see, if you can just make that out, you can see what it's like to actually set up the poll. Um, so you have the two options there and you can write in whatever you like into those two uh, two options. Uh, this is what it looks like on uh, on desktop. Lucky user Twitter designers got this. So uh, we've got polls now, which typeface do you prefer? So two options there for people to click. And then once the poll is underway, you can basically see the percentages, uh, see how many people have voted and uh, and so on. And one final uh, screenshot, uh, if I can find that. I might have to skip through these a second. Uh, here we go, uh, one final screenshot. So this is what it looks like on desktop when a poll is completed. Um, hope that you're getting that okay. It's, it's difficult to, to, to make this clear. 
Uh, if I knew a way to make this clear filming the laptop, I, I would. James, you got any ideas of um, filming laptop screen so it haven't, hasn't got this sort of like uh, sheen on it? So you can basically see the completed uh, poll uh, there at the uh, at the end uh, with the it says final results at the bottom it says 560 votes so you can see um, how many people have, uh, have voted there. Oh, okay, so use your uh, phone for broadcast. Use uh, iPad. Uh, sorry, use iPhone or uh, Android. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, I find uh, iPad the best, uh, tablet the best. Uh, welcome, uh, ooh, welcome, <laughs> welcome, Maddie loves. Uh, thanks very much for all the hearts uh, this morning. Much, uh, much appreciated. So the big question, you know, we got rid of all the techie stuff and the practical side of how polls work. But I think the interesting thing is, what are you going to use them for? What are we going to use them for? So lots of ideas. I mean, for example. If I was asking you what to cover on the next Periscope show or the following week, I could give a couple of options and let the vote uh, decide. And then that's what I would cover on any particular show or perhaps uh, the theme for that week's shows. So if you want feedback, you want uh, uh, your audience to help in your decision-making process, then you can do that. Yeah, logo design, excellent. Yeah, put up two, uh, two logos and uh, ask for people's opinion on, uh, on those. Basically, any sort of decision around anything. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, you could do lots of yes or no votes, of course. Do people agree with a certain uh, thing? Yeah, people's uh, book titles is, a, is, a, is another one. Um, just absolutely no end of things. What about uh, Rugby World Cup at the moment? Uh, referee makes a bad decision. Do you agree with that decision? Do you disagree? So uh, lots of opportunities, I think, for engaging with live sporting events, live TV programmes. Just a really good way of generating some opinion and probably... Uh, exactly. Who do you think will win? Yeah, uh, in advance of uh, of a game or a debate or political election could be uh, anything like that. Loads of ideas. Um, maybe we should do a, a blog post on this, James. Lots of uh, lots of ideas. Yeah, uh, which uh, which celebrity, uh, etc. So I think polls are going to be pretty exciting. Uh, as James has pointed out, you can pin polls to the top of your. Uh, uh, profile, which is uh, pretty handy to uh, to highlight them once they uh, once they come in, um, and I think rather than you know polls has always been around in the sense that people have in the past asked people to uh, retweet for yes and favourite for no and that sort of thing or retweet for agree, favourite for disagree. You do see those from uh, time to time, um, but uh, yeah, from uh, mobile too, um, which is uh, which is handy. Um, <clears throat> Not sure how long that's uh, that's around. Um, oh, I didn't know that was a that was a shortcut. That's interesting. Yeah, um, thanks for that one, uh, that one, James. So, if you're not really pinning tweets to post, great idea to uh, pin tweets to, uh, to 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 post. Stop of sorry profile to highlight them. So, if you've got a significant tweet that you really want to flag up, or you're running a poll, then uh, then why not pin it? That can definitely work uh, work very well. Um, any, yeah, uh, I tend to, to do that from uh, from laptop too. Is that um, is that iPhone or Android, uh, James? Let me know. I'll go and get my Android phone in a minute if it's uh, if it's iPhone. So um, yeah, uh, other things with uh, pops. I think it'll rather than that sort of older way of generating uh, questions. Oh, okay, Android fine. Um, rather than that old way of generating questions with the retweet to agree, favourite to disagree, etc. I think you know you'd like to have more conversation around uh, polls. It's a bit more structured, a bit more organising. Organised people can see the results. They can see percentage of people that have voted, um, and that could kind of like makes the makes the difference. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three D press, yeah. Um, that can uh, that can make the difference possibly because people can see the percentage of people have voted, and that's a conversation point in its own right. So that could make the difference, could generate some extra conversation around the uh, poll that you put in your tweet. But yeah, it's a fantastic uh, new feature. Uh, really looking forward to uh, to seeing that. And hopefully we'll have that this week. If we do have it, certainly might uh, do that as part of a. Um, live show, look at it for, for real, mess around with polls a little bit um, uh, as soon as it comes in, maybe this week, maybe uh, maybe next uh, next week. So uh, yeah, add uh, diversity to votes, absolutely. So um, that's it for, for now, just covering Twitter polls today. Uh, back with another new Twitter feature tomorrow and a bit of stuff uh, around, uh, around that. 
Uh, hope you all have an amazing day. I'm just off to Hotel Demand down the road to run a Twitter workshop, as it happens, for a local uh, marketing and PR agency. So really looking forward to that. If you are in marketing, oh, thanks very much, James. If you're in marketing or PR and you want some social media advice, you want to, you might be doing social media already, but if you really want lots of good stuff, want to upskill for <clears throat> your own account, but perhaps more importantly, your client's account, do get in touch. I'd love to uh, run a workshop uh, for you anywhere in the uh, in the UK or indeed uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, so uh, do get in touch if you need upskilling on social media. You can tweet me at Internet Future. Do let me know your feedback on uh, on Twitter polls. Uh, but that's it for now. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.